Hello folks, welcome back to Cartoony Gameplay. We are here where we were left off. Well, not that we left off at the beginning of the stage because we wanted to show you one little line and talk about some stuff that we want to see but in the remaster. But um, we are here where we met Patrick. So uh, our progress is pretty much the same. So let us move on. Here we are, the throw fruit, which Patrick was eating a piece of in one of the little th one of the, 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 the box art yes that is a joke i'm surprised heavy iron didn't even do wow okay that could also mean that we might be in good hands i just destroyed those oh god i was pulling the trigger that's a different game all right that's just the bus stop over there jesus the bus stop over here allows us to change characters and the bus stop definitely doesn't look like how it should but yeah, whatever, I don't know. Okay. Alrighty. Patrick Teeter Totter. Alrighty. Let us get that. Here's the Thunder Tiki. Yep. Still curious about how that's going to look in the remaster now that they gave the wooden Tiki. If they kept the Thunder Tikis with the same colors, that would be extremely cheap. Yeah. I don't think so. Oh, this... <laughs> I didn't mean to throw that over to him. <laughs> it's Plankton. <laughs> Talking to me. Oh, Mighty Rock, I am at your command. Mighty Rock, I'm at your command. Down here, you big pink lummox. Oh, God. Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? <laughs> That's a normal thing to ask. It's not as not as normal as wanting to go back in time. Okay, can we please stop bringing up that game? Okay. So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. Hmm. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. If you look really close, as you see, Patrick's uh, teeth are square in this game. It is kind of sad that they're like, you know, I don't know. We can't really judge those images of the characters because they might be just, like, product art or something. I don't know how they, I don't know what they're called, character art, whatever. So, I don't know, whatever, Heed moving on. Words, there might be lower quality versions. Oh, this is our favorite line. Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chunk bucket. <laughs> well, then will you vaporize me? What is that Patrick wanting to be vaporized? I might spare your life so I can force you to work oh. in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knock-off wallets. Is that better than being vaporized? I don't know. I've never been vaporized. Oh, thank you. Now into the caves before all this being helpful gives me a headache. I'm gonna sit on you then. <laughs> I'm gonna sit on him. That reminds me of the stupid frozen face off thingy. Oh god, that was terrible. If you jump there, I know how to do that. Yeah, magma balls. Jeez. So, um, how are you guys doing today? You, uh, the gameplay footage comes out in a few days. Unless, uh, no, I probably shouldn't say that. This is also being filmed in July. So, if anything, like, you've not seen the beginning of the first video. If anything happened within the time after the making of this video, you get the idea. We're unprofessional as all hell. Yeah. And if you thought there were many, we'd take number one as being the most unprofessional YouTuber on the planet. And would probably continue like this. Isn't that bub Bubsy Levels? Bart, can we please refrain from that? Oh, God. What is it with people 
thinking that it's a good idea to give him a new game on the Switch. I don't know why that's happening. His society is so terrible in this world, especially with all the new ads, the ads, Jesus. Don't get me started on commercials and YouTube ads. Especially I was starting to play mostly two of them before a video. My goodness. Is that just us or is that a thing that's just happening? It's been happening for a while now. Bam! <laughs> ultra monster co ultra monster combo. Okay, pressure play. There was meant to be a flag that would come out of this. I wonder if they'll revive that. Probably not. Yeah. They said that they're going to be reviving the Squidward boss that is in the R the not the archives, the uh the uh the theater. For the, the movie theater for the game. The Reef Cinema, that's what it's called. We said it in Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Yeah. There's another sock over here. Have you been lonely out there all alone? <laughs> Have you been lonely out there all alone? <laughs> uh, it's like Jojo with his tools. They're people too. Oh my god. If anybody even remembers that, people are probably gonna be asking, who's Jojo? Yeah, they're probably gonna be asking that. Oh, he was a random character from uh, uh, Employee of the Month who wanted a Pepsi ripoff. Yeah. There's a little kid. This actual little kid looks like someone from the show. I had four biscuits and I ate one, then I only had three, that kid. Except different colors, of course. Yeah. Why don't we keep changing the camera like that? I feel like the function to zoom the camera in is probably also going to be removed. That would be extremely sad if it was. Oh god, I don't think we're going to make this. Big go. Go. Oh, oh god. There, we made it. Did we open the box? We did not open the box. There we go. I will crush them. All right. There we go. Throw the throw throw at enemies. It don't work. <laughs> oh, get it. I hope the developers don't like miss uh, mistake that as something. If they have access to the game, all of the old games audio, which I highly doubt it, then it'd be nice if they like went through it all and tried to find it in the game. Because, like, I feel like it's just going to resort on them, like, basically going with what they've heard. Because this is a licensed game and all that. I, you know, I mean, DuckTales, that game got remastered. And what we've heard, things didn't go so well with that. We could be wrong, but from the reviews that we've saw, yeah, they, it didn't go so well. Yeah. So, we just hope that, the you know, we don't want this remaster to go down in history as being the remaster the world thought they wanted. But when they got it, they didn't want it. Yes. Good thing too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Oh boy, Mr. Crow. Oh, I just skipped that. I'll see what I can do. Well, we actually can hear it again because there's a different version of this. What are you waiting for, boy? Go get that king jellyfish. Uh, Patrick cannot go get the king jellyfish. There is a way to get up to the entrance as him, the Spark Spark Mountain. But, um, Spark Mountain, whatever it is. Um, but he cannot, but if even if you enter it as Patrick, he'll come out as Spongebob. Yeah. Oh, Tartar. Ah. Uh, this guy shoots tar Tartar sauce. Is, it, is that a difference? Is it a difference between Tartar sauce? I think it is Tartar sauce in a sense. It's just meant to, it's Tartar. Oh, notice how there's a squirrel that just ricocheted. Patrick, uh... By the way, the robot, that robot, not counting the thing on its back, but that robot that's controlling it, this little thingy, this little guy, was actually in Awesome Productions version of the game. Also, there are certain enemies that you can stun but can't pick up. They just help you to one hit kill them. Yeah. Only true hardcore 
fans of this game will act. Yeah, at the moment of this video, or the making of this video, Heavy Iron is not involved in any way, which is extremely sad. Not even as consultants, which is basically what everyone expected. But, uh, no. Um, they're not involved. Hopefully. I don't know how it works. Um, but let's just hope that it, they, you know, they get brought on eventually. Eventually. If they don't, then that's just downright stupid. We don't know what kind of people oh, are. Hello, Patrick. Oh, I've got Jesus. a job for you to do. This is Puff. Why is she always moving like that? I have no idea. Her eyes are just twitching. His, her pupils are twitching like that. Oh boy. They're probably gonna keep that in if they like. If they're probably gonna reanimate that because she's like more like you know. How, you like we've heard. I don't want to talk about it. Spatula, uh, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Okay, what the heck happened there? Show enough, I don't know. Mrs. Puff. Show enough. Did you get the golden spatula back from the robots on the island yet? Oh, um, I think, well, uh, no. See, they, like I said in the last video, they better talk to everybody multiple times to get it through their heads. They better not leave any... They're probably going to. They're probably going to leave like a ton of dialogue out of this game. And that would be sad if they did. They probably will. Another thing that also doesn't help is that at the time of this video's recording, we don't know how long they've been working on this game. Because they already have a demo coming out. Like two months after the game is revealed, or teased, or whatever, announced. Yeah, announced. But then that's kind of a scary image. We were hoping that they'd like reveal gameplay early next year, but the fact that now it's like this early on and they're already showing gameplay, I think it's a little bit scary. Yeah. And also, it's, it's unknown whether or not they're going to be showing gameplay footage. I'm not sure if they're gonna like do that live or if they're going to um do you know they're gonna like just put a trailer up or something I don't think so because like it wasn't it wasn't they say it's in their gamescom lineup but they didn't show footage of it yeah in their trailer they just had the part from the clip from the, um, the teaser at the very end and then they said it in the description and Twitter and all that. Patrick, you're a I swear, star. that's just <laughs> sneaky. That just worries us even more. Can I get a cookie? No. I'm just gonna say at first, we're just our expectations are extremely low. Let's just say that. Tell me you haven't been driving. Of course not, Mrs. Pop. I don't even have a license. Oh, good. Then it was just another bad dream. Screw you. Yeah. So what we were talking about that we'd be able to hear that line over there from Mr. Krabs again is that if you go over there as SpongeBob, who actually does fight the King Jellyfish, who's the one that fights the King Jellyfish, the dialogue will happen again with just some slight differences. Ahoy there, SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Squidward tells me you're looking for the King Jellyfish. Yes, sir, Mr. Krabs. Good thing, too. They're probably not going to include this either. All my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor. That's the part we accidentally skipped over. Aye, aye, Mr. Krabs. What are you waiting for, boy? Go get that king jellyfish. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, they're probably going to, like we said, we don't want to sound like a broken record, but any part in this game where we're worried that it might get left behind... We're gonna have to point it out. I'm sorry if that's gonna distract some of you, but alas, you know, that's just how it is. We'll continue as SpongeBob. Yeah. By the way, over here, we have the Shush Tiki's that can only be destroyed as SpongeBob by sneaking up on them. Yeah, something we didn't know about when we were a kid because we couldn't read. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. 
There we go. She mm. is that waterfall. You can't even see it from this angle. You think against the wall. Fodder's made more menacing. Menacing, whatever. I don't know words. Yeah. He has an antenna now. Which, I mean, this guy has an antenna, so it's not that far off. And he looks similar. Except he has two eyes and legs. Yeah. But, um... And also he has a red eye now, so that's uh, very interesting. It's unknown whether or not he actually has a red eye, or if that's like, you know, if he's close to you. When, you know, he's in your, when you're in his sight. That would be really cool if that was the case. Yeah, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't think that's the case. I think it's just a flat out change. Yeah. I wonder how they're gonna do on recreating these sounds. Yeah. They better be doing a good job. If they aren't gonna consult with Heavy Iron, then they better consult with the composers. That is if he's gonna do it. Eh, probably not. We might be. I'm so, like, we cannot, like we've said time and time again, but we're very worried about this. Let's just hope they do not screw this up. They better not or else, you know. I mean, they know. We actually emailed them, uh, letting them know well, how what we thought about the game, and I think some other people did it because they said that they've gotten other emails along that line, and that uh, your uh, something was uh, contagious or something. I don't know. So your fandom, your support, all that, your uh, your love for the game is contagious. I don't know, something like that. So I think they're fully aware that if they screw this up then they're gonna pay big consequences. Yeah. Probably not as big as Big Sky Interactive did. Oh God. So not Sky High. That is not funny, Kermit. Sorry. But yeah, definitely some consequence in some way. If not, then yeah. And it's sad. Um, business sense, it makes more sense because, uh, you know, it's cheaper, I guess. And because the game's already been made, you just about to basically take the blueprint and all that. But like we said in the past video, it's very different, especially with the dialogue. Maybe gameplay and all that might be fine, but dialogue, that's our big thing. Because there's so many, like, lines. But maybe it's not a huge loss. But let's just hope they don't screw this up. Yeah, only time will tell if this will be good or not. I don't know if this is gonna be possible in the gap. Yeah, that was a dumb, dumb, dumb. I wonder if that's gonna be even possible in the uh, the thing. Is that even possible here? I don't even know. We usually just use the spin jump, but if that doesn't work anymore in this, in the next one, then that could be a potential problem. Yeah. As long as they don't have lives. Yeah. We probably shouldn't get too used to doing it in this. I don't know. Oh god, this one up here. This is one odd place. Not super sponge levels, but definitely... Well, not that bad, actually. We've played this game so many times that we basically, you know... Like, we've already said we know this game from front to back. Well, 99% technically. There may be some stuff we don't know. Yeah. One thing that we hope for is that we're getting, because we're getting close to the first mini boss of the game, we hope that there is a way to replay the mini bosses. Because you were able to play the regular bosses. You were able to replay the regular bosses anytime you wanted, but you were never able to replay the mini bosses. So that would be a really nice addition, a boss rush mode or something. So that'd be cool. And it wouldn't be that hard, I think. Yeah, we're not game developers, so we can't really say. But yeah, the option to replay those, that would be really nice. Or like in the areas that they took place, 
because you can go to those areas even after the fight so that would be really nice if you could like there was like a sign that allowed you to replay them yeah still can't believe there's gonna be multiplayer horde mode yeah that's gonna be interesting they said it's gonna be online and the game's gonna be on the switch i do not know if licensed games require nintendo switch online but my god that would be extremely bad to see this the remaster of this game get touched by that god-awful service yeah it better not be please tell me that's not the case it probably will be the case my god and that would also not help because that would kind of help nintendo in a sense for all the sponge the kids who love spongebob they're probably gonna be like mom can i sign up for this service and all that yeah and then, then when they discover like fortnite or something they're probably gonna continue my god never mention that on this again what if our cousin finds out um we just screwed ourselves over yeah wall jumping i feel like they might screw up wall jumping too we're not trying to be extremely negative but yeah i don't know the whole i mean like you know we wouldn't be nervous about the whole veteran developer thingy but the fact that the one single game that they've developed in the past has mixed reviews worries us and plus it was developed by another co it was assisted by there was assistance from another company as well so yeah this guy <laughs> Oh boy, there's downtown over there. Oh boy, let us get to the very first boss, Spork Mountain. It was Spork, no, not Sporks, Spork. Why is it called Spork Mountain? Bubble I have no idea. Gosh, everyone is trying to help out today. Step quietly there. That king jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck, you'll need it. Thanks, Bubble Buddy. Are you sure that you're ready to tackle King Jellyfish? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, there's the first boss. We almost skipped that cutscene. That would have been terrible. God. There's one little error that I really hope they fix. The health bar of the boss being put on the cutscene. Yeah. 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 This guy. He's gonna be tr slightly transparent in the remaster. That should be interesting. All right, this is another error. They uh, they have the um, the jellyfish fields music playing for this boss, but when you die, it actually does fix that issue. It's supposed to be this music. Yeah, that's better. Hopefully they fix that. They probably won't because I don't know. There's just so many things that just may go past them. I'm just we don't want to sound like a broken record, but alas, yeah. That's just how worried we are about this. Oh Jesus. Here's peanut butter curtains. Peanut butter Bart, all right. Uh, what did he say? There's the king jellyfish jelly. <laughs> Is it meant to be like whoever's voicing them to mumbling the words or something? Yeah. You've gotten the King Jellyfish Jelly. Return to Squidward. All right. Oh, by the way, oh god, we just screwed that over. Okay, not completely, I guess. The bath has filled. I mean, unfilled. God, that is bright. Jeez. So you can now collect those. Who knows, maybe they'll do justice in the game. Maybe they'll actually ask Heavy Iron for their assistance or co they'll consult with them at some point. Like I said, we don't know how game development works. And maybe this will be good. But alas, there's still a huge chance this may flop. 
and we may want to take back our requests. Let's hope it doesn't get to that. I really hope not. There are people who are excited for this. People are willing to analyze this stuff. Oh, here's a secret one. I bet a lot of people think you have to just jump for it on the on the right side. As it turns out, there's a like little secret part you drop onto. As you say, as we say, only hardcore fans of this game will know that. Yes. And here we need to make a leap of faith. But we're not gonna do that because we want to listen to what Larry has to say here. Oh yeah, Larry made it to the stage after all. Jump yeah. into that ramp in order to reach that golden spatula, huh? Yeah. Don't ever say that again. Oh yeah, Larry's not a jerk in this game. Thank God. Also, he's not like completely red, and he's more orange, which I think is kind of the case in the show, kind of. Well, the, not the early season, but whatever. His pants are a lot lighter. Wow, that's a mighty big leap. I hope I can make it. Eh. Keep trying, SpongeBob. I have faith in you. You didn't have faith in me at all in the last game. You wanted to rip my face off all the purple jellyfish. They take two hits, they move faster, they're more aggressive. And they're bigger. And they're only in this part of the stage. Not unless you count- all these ones move faster too. Not unless you count, uh... Not unless you count... Something. They're not unless you get the boss, that's what- the, because he spawns them too. Yeah. Oh, King Jellyfish. One thing we also hope to see in this game that was assumingly cut due to the uh, the amount of uh, concept art. Uh, due, no, due to the two pieces of concept art of a jungle SpongeBob and a Mermaid Man SpongeBob was um, costumes in this game. The, the, the idea of that would later be done in like um, the movie game and see, no Truth or problem. Square. You could do anything you set your mind and your muscle to. Your muscle has nothing to do with it. There's downtown again. This, this springboard leads us back to Jellyfish Fields. Jeez. Yeah. Uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so much better. That sounded so wrong. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Uh, what if I just gave you this? Uh, okay then. This is why I don't go outside. Ever. Uh. Alright, we have enough for both downtown and Goolagoon now. Whoa. So, um, those are all the spatulas from uh, Jellyfish Fields. We didn't get all the socks though. We have enough for one from Patrick. Oh yeah, let's, let's do that. There's the Jellyfish Field sign. It's very dark and it has white outlining. Yeah. Oh, we didn't go in Patrick and Squidward's house. Oh, we should do that. All right, let's get the spatula from Patrick first. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some. Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's the golden back scratcher. <laughs> A back scratcher. Oh, God. Spatula. I don't speak Italian. I don't speak it. Of course you don't. Let me go in your house. I can't believe we forgot to go in here. Whoa. Oh yeah, by the way, yeah, you can go in here. There is a texture for Pat Patrick's bed in the game files, but it wasn't in the game. It didn't make it to the game. Yeah. Ready? Up we go. Now to go see Squidward. First, those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning. And now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? Yeah. I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. Uh, <laughs> move to another town. I, I crack me up. Crack you up, huh, whatever. Just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. 
Huh. Oh, I just get that. Yeah. You're in my life. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't think it's a good thing. All right, let's go around, jumping around, destroying everything. We can get another sock. Oh, that moose head! Oh, I shouldn't have destroyed that. The moose head was from the snowball episode, snowball fight, whatever it was. The giant Squidward. This is something I guarantee they're probably not even gonna know about. If they screw that up, if they miss that, we're gonna be, you know, then that just shows how much they did not care about. <laughs> or maybe they did care, maybe they just didn't know what they were doing. Okay, oh, okay, God. Jumping, you shouldn't make you? fun of Purple Lamp. There's nothing, you know. Will you please go away? I'm also worried that, like, if this does go bad, then it might put a bad image on the original game. And people might think that the people who never saw footage of the original but heard that people loved it will probably think that they were trolling. See, if they see and rehydrated and it's terrible. Best. Oh god. Don't touch me. I never knew he went, mmm. <laughs> yeah. We always skip that part. I don't know. Uh. Didn't I pay you to go That's away? what we meant by 99%. Yeah. But yeah, please, Purple Amp, do not let us down. I know that we sound like a broken record, but alas, it just has to be said over and over again because it just has to be. It has to be said. Okay. Downtown Bikini Bottom. They did a decent job remaking the taxi texture and thing. Well, from the screenshot, at least. Yeah. Downtown Bikini Bottom. Once a bustling metropolis. Now a debris-covered crater. Ah, oh, boy. SpongeBob, the robots are destroying downtown Bikini Bottom. We have to evacuate. All right, but it's going to take a while to get all this dust. Not vacuum. <laughs> evacuate. We have to get everyone to safety. Can we just load them up in the boats? That won't do any good. Why not? Because the robots have taken all the steering wheels. Couldn't we just drive in a straight line? No, there are too many turns. <laughs> <laughs> those fiends, they thought of everything. Never fear, Mrs. Puff. I'll get those steering wheels back. SpongeBob, if you're involved, I always fear. But I tell you what, if you can pull this off, I'll give you a golden spatula. How about a driver's license instead? <laughs> nice try. <laughs> Without steering wheels, we can't use the boats to evacuate. Find them for me in downtown Bikini Bottom. We're already here. SpongeBob, we need those steering wheels. Now hurry! They're probably going to... Ah, forget it. I'm not going to say it. Uh... Already. Oh, by the way, the this thing, SpongeBob. <laughs> Goodness gracious! Is there any words that can be said about this? My God, the controls! I do hope they fix that. That's one thing. And the controls of that thing, probably not. Oh well. Oh, you hurt that thing. Okay. Oh, where? That. Is he going down? Oh, God. Oh. That. That's. I don't recall that statue from the show, but it's cool looking. Yeah. Oh god. What we do here is we need to get it to shoot. Okay, I don't think that's gonna. That's an overshoot looking. No, it's not. Goodness. Okay, that's not ideal. That's not ideal either. Okay, no, that, that is ideal. Go. Keep moving. Oh goodness. I'm sure. Okay, oh god. Is that, is that, a, is that win? Okay, yeah, that's a win. Okay, no, move, move. Okay. Oh God. Okay, come on. Make it. Come on. Shoot. Is that an overshoot? It's an overshoot. Okay. Oh God. Okay, go. 
press it. Oh god, press it. Press it. Okay. Go. Go. Oh, oh Jesus. Okay, keep going. Okay. Do not bounce back. Okay. Keep going. Oh god. Go. Do. Uh, <laughs> it got smushed by an anvil. Push, 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 push. Ah. Uh, all right, let's get our spatula up here. One thing that would have been cool is the little victory and failure themes from the movie game, but because this ain't developed by the same people, it's probably not gonna happen. It's not, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, but it's not a big loss. It wasn't one of our big things. It was just a tiny little thing, kind of at the bottom of our list. Yeah. No. <laughs> Nobody's ever up for a game of SpongeBob. All right. Oh, oh, glove. Yes. That is G apostrophe love, actually. Apostrophe. I don't know. Dash. Whatever. I don't know. Thingies. Yeah. You're very stupid. In case you couldn't tell. <laughs> and trophy. And yeah, that intro is open. That was not Tom Kenny. Was that even meant to be Gary? I don't know. Glove, as you see there. I have to defeat it from top. By the way, here is an anchovy. Who's wearing pants and business thingy. So, yeah. Operation, that's not new, obviously. Operation Krabby Patty did that first. But alas, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. Why 11? That's a bit odd. Yeah, that's an odd number. There's a sock up there, but we need Sandy for it. Alright. Let's get everything around here first. So it's like 10 seconds, so... Oh wait, unless one of the wheels... No, actually get past the gate and it'll stay open. That's not much of an issue. Yeah, we can just do this. And then just roll right on... Okay, just get out of that. Get that. Oh, touch that over there. That is over the thing. Oh, I mean, it comes close to you. When you come near it, that kind of like pulls towards you. Yeah. So, uh, what are your favorite parts about this game? Uh, let us know in the comments. Yeah. to talk about honestly there's a sock up there but requires a certain character to get up there okay careful on this one oh Jesus Okay, yeah, there's not only sinks this time, but there's also chairs. Why? That's my question to the world. Jesus. Hmm. This one's a bit, this part's a little bit tricky. Okay. Bounce on that. There we go. Oh god, another one. This one's super easy. There's just a switch right here that just shuts the window. Also, while the buildings actually look a lot more like Bikini Bottom, like unlike Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, this building right here in particular, there's like, well, there are other windows on it. I did not notice that. Okay, it just seems very weird from the front. I mean, from this angle, it looks kind of fine, but then from the front, it's like, okay, what is going on there? Hmm. It shines. 
you. Oh, Jesus. Somebody just drop a piano. <laughs> okay. Oh, are these thingies that spew gas at you? They're called Chomp Bot. I think Chomp Bot. Yeah, Chomp Bot. Wonder how he's gonna look. Oh, wait. Okay. Not all is lost. Do not touch that. Okay. There's Bubble Buddy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, I screwed that up. Okay. We do it like this. Yeah. Oh, wait. This door is locked from the inside. Who would do such a thing? Probably the robots. You'll have to open this door from the inside. And yeah, this is the uh, lighthouse. Okay, go back, go back. Okay, nope. These are slippery for some reason, and they tie around. You slide really fast on these. Jeez. Okay. So yeah, this game is 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 sound is cult following. Obviously, it has a cult following, which is cool. It's a cult classic. Which is an achievement of a licensed game can achieve that. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. There's also a speedrunner for this game. Shift? Yeah, Shift. There's also a lot of supporters for this game. Uh, Fred5107, he's one of the uh, well known ones. He hasn't uploaded a video in a while. Now, I wonder what happened to him. Uh, Riders DX, he's one of the more recent ones, I think. Uh, um. CMB Extra or CMB Crop, uh, Chester in other words, he's the main, the guy from there. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's got a good voice, yeah, he does. Okay, I can probably glitch, nah, I'm not gonna. Oh, chomp butt. The Sea Needle, yeah, the Sea Needle's in this game, from that one part in pre-hibernation where Sandy pushed Spongebob, the sole reason for this building's existence is for Sandy to push Spongebob off of it. And yet it made it into this game despite its very little importance. <laughs> and it wouldn't be the last SpongeBob game too, so Heavy Iron weren't the only ones. Yeah. Okay, get passed around you up. Yes, thanks for noticing. How the heck did Gary get out here? How did he get up on that roof? He made a different meow noise though. It was him nonetheless. Not done. Doesn't that mean meow? Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops, which leads to the lighthouse. Uh, there's another uh -huh. wheel over there. There's another golden spatula. I could really use that. Meow. What do you mean, get Sandy to help me? I can get through this. Meow. Meow. Oh, that gap looks big. Okay, I'm definitely <laughs> yeah. not making that jump. How is anyone going to get across there? Uh-oh, more robots. Only Dutchman's ghost! That gap the looks Dutchman. impossible! And impassable! Okay, okay, I'll go get Sandy to help me out. So yeah, we can play as Sandy in this game. Oh, there's the box. Get Sandy. Head to Smokestack's door. Check. Smokestack's door. Is it this building? I don't know, is it? I think this is Smokestack's. Whatever. There's two of these from far away. In one of the early screenshots. That nerve that makes us nervous too. Yeah. Hopefully that doesn't mean anything. I hope not. I, I mean I hope I don't know, maybe they'll take it out. I don't know. It just seems kinda lazy. I mean the sea needles there, and the anchor, and the lighthouse, and then this one particularly, and then all the others just look generic. Yeah. Which is, you know, whatever, I don't know. Okay. So now we're Sandy. Her main abilities, obviously, chopping. She can fly somehow with the lasso she tried to kill SpongeBob and Patrick with. Yeah, how kid friendly. <laughs> oh, whatever. All right. Um, she can also grab stuff with it. That's why certain things are being highlighted. Um, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, Gary. Meow. <laughs> I just <laughs> cracked your shell open. Oh no! 
Don't ever say that again. Why not? The shell thingy. Oh, shell shock. Don't ever. That was my fault. What were the show writers thinking? What, I mean, what, in what dimension, what twisted dimension did those people, I don't know where, I don't know what to make of anything anymore. So, all right, yeah, let's keep going. There's something fun about doing this. By the way, from a distance, you can do that, yeah. Continuing. Oh, there's a wheel down here. There's another one. Little shortcut for you there. Alright, if you drop down there, you can get that purple one. But we're not gonna do that. Look at this one. And these ones over here. <laughs> By the way, if you collect underwear as Sandy, you get a different sound. I forgot if we've already done that. The sound is slightly different. Already know about this. Alright, a prize in everyone. I forgot if I heard that one before. Yeah. Let's just hope they have access to the old game's archives, and if they don't, there's gonna be a lot of dialogue left behind. Oh boy. Alright, get you from a distance. There you go. Oh, by the way, the further you go, the more special trampolines open. So, let's actually forgot to get the sock over here. Actually, no, we don't even need socks. Because we're not focusing on that. Oh, uh, we forgot. We said that. Wow. But, yeah, how you get to, but it will show you how to get to the hard ones, obviously. Over here, you do that. Yeah. And if you wanted to, you could do this. Destroy this. I don't think we're gonna be able to uh, go any. Okay, we'll probably have to backtrack a bit. Oh, great. Unless we can make the swing there. Nope. Okay. Can we climb on top of this building? It's time to find exploits. Oh, I know we found this. Huh. Time to find shortcut or two. Okay, nope. It's like right over there, so you know what? Well, actually, no, there's a better one somewhere over here. Why? That's just wasted time. We apologize. It is over here. I don't know how or when they get activated, but alas, they do the more you go on top of the buildings. The further you are on the buildings, whatever, that kind of thing. Oh, gotcha. that was not cool. Okay, then. We're gonna play it that way. Jesus, oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus. I got bad flashbacks. Of... No, I'm not gonna say it. Okay. Alrighty. Once we get into there, the rooftops, we'll stop this episode. Yeah. Hmm. 14. One more before we can first we can enter the first boss stage. Okay, downtown rooftops. Hey Larry, what's shaking? Sandy! Boy, am I glad to see you. I need your help. My TV reception has been terrible lately. I need to have someone replace my old antenna with this shiny new one. Are you talking about the one that's right in between you two? Yes, sir. That fair antenna is shinier than a $3 bill. Well... 
Why don't you replace it yourself? I'm not really much of a jumper. <laughs> oh, is it gone? <laughs> so, what's jumping got to do with it? Because the old antenna is up there. The, that thing is gone. The big, the purple thing that was in the middle of the screen. You guys saw that. That's not an antenna. That's a spatula. Woo! That's taller than a glass of Texas iced tea. Also, is he installing the new one where we are, where the building is right now? The building that we're on? Or is he installing it where the spatula is? The God. robots have blocked off that building, and I can't do all those fancy moves you and SpongeBob do to get across these gaps. All I can do is flex! Oh, no. no. Yeah, right. We uh, don't so need to... Do we did not need to hear that. Oh, that? It's yours if you replace it with a new one. Well, that's different. Well, I have been getting bad TV reception in the tree dome. Because you're underwater. Okay, Larry, you got a deal. <laughs> Please replace my antenna at the far end of these rooftops. That sounded a little bit too... Yeah, the thing is gone! Oh my god. That sounded a little bit too, uh... Kind of, uh... Is that Larry trying to be cute? Please replace my antenna. Okay, no, that is clearly Larry trying to be cute. He just rubs it off. He's like, he's like, hey, don't scratch the paint. I'm surprised he doesn't say that in this. Was that episode even out yet? Uh, wasn't that the first episode that established Larry as a lifeguard? Then just instead, then just some random guy on instead of some random guy that just hangs around the beach. I think so. When he throws the anchor in the Muscle Bob episode, uh, Muscle Arms episode, he kind of sounds like Patrick. <laughs> yeah, he kind of does. Oh, there's a there's a thing up there, and it's really hard to get. Okay, yep, that explains how hard it is to get. Yeah. As soon as we get back, we'll end this video. We, we can't really go any further because we're almost to an hour. Yeah. Oh, God. How does a kid expect to do this? Okay. I'll oh, we'll get the sock while we're at it. And this camera doesn't help at all. There we go. Imagine if it's going to be harder without the bubble cruise. <laughs> the bubble cruise. We haven't even got that yet. Or, I mean, the... Uh, what is it called? The the bubble spin jump? Yeah. What's happening, SpongeBob? Hey, Larry. Well, that's a surprise. Larry said hello first. Ah, oh, you're much. You're with the cute talk you were giving Sandy, and you're saying hello to SpongeBob first. It's clear to see that. Big Sky makes Larry a big old douche, a big old bag of ding dongs. But this, this game, Heavy Iron, makes Larry a big old lovable lug. I don't know how I feel about either of those, but alas, this concludes cartoony gameplay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're already in two parts and we're nowhere near the end. Well, whatever the case may be, thank you all for watching. We hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Be sure to check out our main channel, Mike's Toontown, and we'll be seeing you soon. is complete. This is what we're talking about. Have a nice day.